Welcome to Safetica 101. In this episode, we will cover manually adding your Safetica databases into an existing SQL environment. The first thing we have to do is create a user account. There are three steps involved in this. Create the user account, choose an authentication method, and then give the user rights to create databases. Let's begin with step one. The first thing we have to do is add a Safetica user to SQL with rights to create a database. After authenticating into Management Studio, click on Security, Logins, right-click on Logins and select New Login. Now write down the name of the user. In this training, we will use Safetica DB User. Now switch to SQL Server Authentication and uncheck Enforce Password Policy. Now create your password and then confirm the password. Now select Server Roles and check Database Creator. And then OK. And now we've created a user with rights to create a database. We will use this account in the next step during initial installation. Now let's take a look at using this new SQL account when installing the Safetica Management Console. When you install Safetica, you can go through either the automatic or manual installation. If you want to connect the Safetica database into an existing SQL environment, you will have to go through manual installation. Now click on SMS to install the Safetica Management Service and set up the SQL database. Now select Custom SQL Server. Enter the IP address or device name of your SQL Server and then the Safetica account created previously. You can also use an existing SQL account like the SA account. If using an existing account, remember that it must have the ability to create new databases. Now let's look at configuring Safetica. In this section, we will be in the Management Console. We will look at changing your database in Safetica and then check your ports to make sure we have the proper communication. You can also change the database or set up a new one at any time in the Safetica Management Console. To do this, go to Profile. From here, you can add a new server or modify an existing one. If you're setting up a new server or modifying an existing one, you can check the port used for communication. If you leave this link blank, it will be dynamic. Typically, communication is on port 1433, but you can check your SQL environment to make sure. To do this, pull up the SQL Server Configuration Manager, open Protocols for MS SQL Server, and right-click on the TCP IP, and then go to Properties. Now click on IP addresses to view the ports in use. Thanks for watching this episode of Safetica 101. This training introduced you to some of the many features and capabilities of Safetica. For more information, please visit our website at corporatearmor.com or call us at 1-877-449-0458.